Hello and welcome to Chairside Live. I'm your host, Megan Strong. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Here's what's going on. Dr. Chi is removing an over-contoured gold crown on number 19. It was trapping food and causing severe gingival irritation. So let's watch as Dr. Chi works his digital dentistry magic and places a Bruxer Now crown in a single appointment using the Glidewell.io in-office solution. Dr. Chi? Thank you, Megan. On this episode, I'll take you through the easy process of using the Glidewell.io CAD CAM system to fabricate a Bruxer crown chair side. We have a 28-year-old male whose chief complaint is pain and bleeding gums around the crown in his lower left quadrant. He presents with a full coverage gold crown on his mandibular left first molar, tooth number 19, that has localized gingivitis characterized by the swollen purple gums around the crown. The over-contoured crown with an extensive overhang is the primary cause. The plan is to replace the crown with a same visit restorative approach utilizing the Glidewell.io chair side system. Since the tooth is endodontically treated, I only administer local infiltration for gingival pain control. I begin the removal of the old crown with a 557 carbide to section through the buckle and occlusal. I use light pressure to ensure I don't mutilate the underlying tooth structure since most gold crowns are fabricated very thin. Once I can visualize the prep, I use a 90 degree Christensen crown remover to break the seal between the crown and tooth and wiggle the crown off using crown removal forceps. From the buckle view of the old prep, we can see the occlusal surface of the prep is almost even with the occlusal table of the adjacent teeth. It'll be important to reduce this further to allow adequate room for our Bruxer crown. I begin refining the preparation on the occlusal using a coarse grit football diamond with the tip slightly angled downward to ensure the central fossa area is deeper to allow for more natural contours of the crown. On the axial surfaces, I use a coarse grit 850-018 burr to establish a one millimeter chamfer margin. With a periodontal probe angled toward the tooth with light apical pressure, I trace along the margin circumferentially around the tooth to verify that there's adequate reduction and it's smooth and continuous. I'll continue refining the axial surfaces if the probe slides off or I detect any roughness. For hemostasis, I typically use Ultradent Viscosat Clear, but the severely inflamed tissue around this tooth didn't really respond. So for these situations, I use a 12% ferrous solution, Astringent X, which is Ultradent's most powerful hemostatic agent. Here I'm using Kerr's pink flex tab to verify that I've established at least one millimeter of occlusal clearance. I also place a strip of articulating paper on the bottom of the tab to mark on the tooth where there's insufficient reduction. For the final prep, I'm aiming to establish adequate axial reduction to create a sharp cavo surface margin, adequate occlusal reduction for strength and ideal anatomy of the final restoration, and smooth and rounded internal angles so that we can have an optimal fitting restoration. Since all the margins are subgingival, I'm placing a single size two cord into the sulcus to retract the soft tissue for our optical impression. I remove the cord after five minutes and then isolate and dry the area for the impression. I begin capturing the digital impression using the itero element. After scanning the prep, I noticed the mesial aspect of the margin wasn't very clear. I repack the cord in the mesial area while my assistant deletes that spot from the digital model. When I rescan, the itero automatically fills in the missing data. Being able to evaluate our work and make changes immediately is one of the greatest advantages to taking digital impressions. Once I've captured the upper, lower, and bite, the digital models are transferred to the Fast Design workstation, where the first step is to identify the margins. I'll guide the software with a series of clicks along the prep. This step is made easier by creating a sharp cable surface margin and providing enough tissue retraction. After the margin is placed, I then establish the occlusal and buckle orientation 
so the software will know how to best position the library tooth for this prep. Once Fast Design establishes the correct tooth orientation, we can customize the initial design proposal's angulation, position, and size. From there, the software analyzes the adjacent and opposing dentition to establish the appropriate proximal and occlusal contacts for this restoration, which can then be adjusted to the user's desired strength values. I spend no more than three minutes marking the margin and designing the restoration. When the design is completed, I load and lock in a Bruxer now block within the block holder and seat a new diamond burr in the mill collet. Because Bruxer now is a fully centered zirconia, each block comes with a new single use diamond burr that was specially designed for this purpose. In only 35 minutes, the fully electric fast mill completes the crown. The sprue connection between the crown and the rest of the block is also reduced in size by the mill, so users can easily snap the crown off. I'm now using a fine grit red stripe 850-018 diamond burr to finish down the remaining sprue. With light pressure, I run the burr side to side until the crown's contour is smooth and continuous in this area. If proximal contacts are heavy, I like to position a cut piece of troll foil articulating paper between the crown and adjacent tooth to mark the contact. This way I'm not blindly adjusting the mesial and distal surfaces. Next I check the occlusal contacts, again with troll foil articulating paper. By dialing in my preferred contact settings in the design software, there's typically very little to no adjustments needed. I'll now complete the finishing of the crown with a spiral polisher from Clinician's Choice ASAP Polishing Kit. It's incredibly easy to get a high shine using these polishers on any type of restorative material. In fact, for our Chairside Mill Bruxer crown, I only use the pre-polisher since this patient's adjacent teeth aren't very smooth and shiny. Once I polish the restoration, the crown is ready for delivery. I scrub a small amount of gluma onto the prep to help disinfect and clean the surface. And if the tooth was vital, it would also help with desensitizing. I cement the crown with 3M's Reliax Looting Plus, which is their resin modified glass ionomer cement. After about two minutes, the cement enters its gel state and makes removal of excess pretty easy. With this amazing Cherosite technology, in less than 50 minutes, we were able to capture our digital impression, design, and mill a fully centered monolithic zirconia crown. I'm always so impressed with the speed in which we can deliver the strongest restorative material we have in dentistry without any compromise in quality and fit. Thank you for your time. Back to you, Megan. Thank you for that, Dr. Chi. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Chairside Live. So on behalf of everyone here at Glywell Dental, thank you for watching, and I'll meet you right back here next time.